Lovely Community Safety Watch. Let's go out to reporter Alexa Sita, who has information on a class every woman should be part of. Alexa? Thanks, Ben. Well, protecting yourself is the name of the game at a new course being offered by the Torrance Police Department. But RAD, or Rape Aggression Defense, is not a martial arts class. And to tell us more, I'm joined by Sergeant Jeremiah Hart, who is a member of the Torrance Police Department. He is also a RAD instructor. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And explain to everyone what RAD is. RAD is a basic self-defense program for women where we take the natural instincts that they have and we teach them how to channel those to protect themselves. And one of the, uh, a part of the RAD philosophy is taking a realistic approach to self-defense. So what does that mean, a realistic approach? A realistic approach means that we're going to raise their awareness of where there may be opportunities or where they may be vulnerable to attack. And they're going to give them tools that they can use to minimize that risk and make them safe. And so some of the techniques that you learn are obviously physical, but there are also mental techniques that you teach in the class, certain cues that all women should pick up on. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about what you learn with regard to risk avoidance. With risk avoidance, we identify several scenarios that women are in daily throughout their lives where there could be certain risks or where they could be attacked by somebody. And we teach them things that they can do, steps they can take to increase their safety and to be more aware of their surroundings be more aware of the routines that they go into daily life and uh, approach it from a more safe, uh, safe manner. If women do that, about how many incidents could be averted by risk avoidance? About 90% of the incidents could be avoided by early detection, awareness, and then reducing those risks when they could arise. Now let's move on to some basic physical techniques that you'll learn in the course. And for that, we are joined by Christine Smearer, Services Officer, and Sergeant Jennifer Ueda. They're going to be the students in this scenario. They're also RAD instructors. So the first basic technique that you would learn when you, when you start on the physical portion of the class is what? The first technique is she's going to stand in a position, position of disadvantage, meaning she doesn't have good balance right now. And we're going to teach her a cautious contact. If she sees something that looks suspicious, she's, she's going to stand in a position of advantage, cautious contact. She moves her weight, so 60% is in the front, 40% in the back. Her hands are crossed. It gives across the body language, don't mess with me. Yeah. The next thing she's going to do, she's going to raise her hands up in front of her. But most importantly, she's going to use her voice to let the suspect know to get back and to raise the awareness of other people around her. It looks like this, warning contact. Get back. So she puts her hands up at a place where she can defend herself. She lets the attacker know, you need to get back. And it raises the awareness of everybody else around in the community. Okay. And after she practices that move and the assailant is still coming towards her, then what's the next thing that she should do? The next thing we do is we teach them to get out of the line of attack. It basically means move out of the way. Uh, Service Officer Schmier will be the attacker. She goes towards Sergeant Ueda. Get back. And Sergeant Ueda moves out of the way. In this position, Sergeant Ueda has all of her tools available to her, and she has a pos position of advantage over the attacker. Great. Well, these are some of the basic moves that you'll learn in the beginning of the physical aspect of the RAD course. Let's move on to some of the more advanced moves that you'll be learning. Well, Services Officer Christine Smear now has a pad or a kicking shield, as it's called, and we're going to move on to some more physical techniques. So talk about the first technique we're going to see. The first, first technique we're going we're to show is, and through the, the process of empowering women to protect themselves, is we're going to show them how to use the personal weapons that they have to protect themselves. And the first one's a close range weapon. We call it a hammer fist. It's a very basic strike, and it looks like this. And you can see Sergeant Ueda is using her fist and her weight transfer to keep the attacker back. Well, we are going to see some of these basic physical techniques put together in real life scenarios. We've got services officer Christine Smears on the ground. Uh, Jennifer Ueda is going to describe what we're going to see, and Sergeant Hart is in a special outfit. So can you explain what Sergeant Hart is wearing? Sure. This is your basic uh, rad aggressor suit. It protects the majority of his uh, body so that when we do actually do these scenarios, we can do practically uh, anything to him, and he's protected. We've got um, Christine on the ground in a very vulnerable position if a woman falls, if she's running or what have you. So how does she get out of this, this situation safely? Okay, so when a woman falls on the ground, 
uh, she's going to still have her base, same as when we're up on, up on our feet. She's going to support herself with her elbow and her bottom leg there. And she can still be in a, an aggressive spot to where she can fend off her attacker. So let's see what that would look like. Hey, come here. Come here. Come get back, here. Get back, get back, get back. And then she escapes. So she's able to get up, push him away, giving her enough time to just get up and leave. Correct. OK. Well, Sergeant Ueda, do you need any special physical conditioning to take this class? No, you don't. We have our uh, age ranges from 14 to we had a student who was uh, probably over 60 years old, and they all did very well. Okay, and tell me about, which is an amazing thing, the lifetime return policy that the RAD course offers. That is one of the greatest things about RAD. Um, they do have a lifetime return policy where once you go through the course, uh, one of the instructors will sign your RAD manual and we will also enter you into the uh, database and you can come back anytime to any RAD uh, course throughout the country and come back for free to train and practice. Because it really is about practicing. It really is about practice. Okay, great. Exactly. Well, that's an amazing offer. It's an even better offer for Torrance residents because the course usually costs students between $50 and sometimes $150, but Torrance residents are being offered this course for free by the Torrance Police Department, which is such a great deal. But be sure to sign up early because space is limited. Well, I want to thank everyone for helping us with this Community Safety Watch segment. Sergeant Jennifer Ueda, Services Officer Christine Smears, and of course, the uh, rad aggressor here, Sergeant Jeremiah Hart. Thanks so much for giving us a sneak peek as to what people will expect if they take the rad course. I'm Alexa Sita reporting from the Torrance Police Department. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alexa. The free 12 hour rad session is being offered by the Torrance Police Department on Friday, April 30th through Saturday, May 1st. To register, visit police.torrentca.gov. And for questions, contact Sergeant Jeremiah Hart at 310-618-5688. Coming up after the break, we have a look at the local sports scene and we'll give you a preview of an upcoming theater performance. Now here's your five-day forecast.